Hello everyone, Shishan Naman. This sucks. So, this morning, uh, I was having COVID, sim COVID symptoms. Uh, I woke up this morning fine, but when I got to work at 8 o'clock, I start feeling very tired. Very tired. I was sluggish, like a zombie, moving very slow. I kept making mistakes at work. Simple mistakes, but mistakes naman. And then my body started hurting, like aching, like someone was squeezing me. And then my head felt tight. Uh, I wasn't coughing, but my throat was bothering me. And then I was feeling nauseous. Uh, and then I had a headache. So all the COVID symptoms. Uh, I was I felt warm, but they they took they checked my temperature three times, and it wasn't a fever. But uh, because I had symptoms, my work my work required me to schedule a swab test. I just finished doing the swab test. Uh, I was nervous. It's not as scary as everyone seems. You heard the horror stories because they have to stick a, a Q-tip in your nose. They have to stick it in your nose, and people said that they go they go way in there, and it hurts and stuff like that. Uh, maybe they just improved it, but in my experience, it did not hurt. It was very uncomfortable though, because it was like halfway, not to the very back of your nose, but like halfway, and then they, they twist. They do each nostril with the same swab. She, she, the, the nurse even told me, she said, okay, this doesn't hurt, but it's uncomfortable. I was like, okay, I'm ready for this. So I had my mask on. She told me not to ruin the mask, just lower the mask to cover my mouth, but just expose my nose like that. And then she inserted the swab in here, my left nose. And then she counted one, two, three, four. She's rotating. And it's right here, like maybe in here. Like it's, it tickled. It tickled. You know the feeling when you have a bloody nose and you can feel it coming? But it's like that. So she did one, two, three, four there. And she goes, okay, other nose. Same swab. Other nose. One, two, three, four. And then she took it out. And then I just had. She, you know, bagged everything. Because I'm a medical worker, they, they, they like to expedite it to get the results back faster so I can return to work. So she put everything in a bag and then she took, she left the room because I was in an isolated room. I waited an hour to get checked because I went to urgent care at my work, right? They, they, there was an order to get swabbed, so I checked in. They checked me and asked my symptoms and then I had to wait 30 minutes and then the triage nurse talked to me and asked me the same questions that I told the check-in lady. They told me to wait, and then I got then the rapid people, rapid, rapid testing people called me in, and that's when I got tested. But so yeah, the protocol is now that I am waiting the test results. I cannot return to work until I get my test results back, which sucks. But hey, better be safe. You don't want to spread it when a couple cases going on. Uh, good thing with my work though is they pay me they pay me they don't take my vacation time and I need to make sure just in case because people make mistakes but they won't take my vacation time they'll give me COVID pay while I wait for my test results depending on how long how long how many days it takes to get the results back uh, if it's negative they'll pay me those days that I missed if it's positive I get paid for the 14 days quarantine so kind of cool kind of not kind of want to get quarantined but I don't want to do that to my my workmates, but so yeah, that's my experience. It's it's nerve, you know. You get, you get anxious. It's kind of scary at first, but then it's it's okay. It's not as bad as I thought. So you guys take care of yourself. Wear your masks. Wash your hands. I was exposed at work, so I was doing the right thing. But you know, when you're around someone that has the exposure, you know, expo I don't. Guys, take care. Bye bye.